Hello and welcome. Today I'm in the garden and I'm going to be getting on with a couple of jobs. I've planted as much as I can plant out at the moment and um, I've planted as many bulbs of, as I've had to plant out. So I'm just going to get on with doing a few little bits and bobs around the place. So I thought I'd show you what I was getting up to um, at this time of the year. I have this small hoop frame here which um, the netting had got damaged on so I'm just going to replace the netting and then I'm going to use it around the front uh, where I planted my peas the other day uh, because at the moment I've just covered it over with perspex and I kind of want the rain to be able to get at it so I'm going to um, recover this and then swap uh, out the perspex for the uh, cloche and I'm not going to set you up on a tripod today because it's already drizzling so I kind of want to get on and do as much as I can um, whilst I can so I shall bring you back once this is done and I'll show you uh, the cloche in situ here it is in place and it doesn't look too bad I had to remove some carrots this side because they were at the end of the bed so um, these are the carrots that came out which I'm really pleased with I think these were Norfolk F1s um, I can't quite remember but by the look of them being thin and long I, I think that's what was on the packet of the Norfolk F1s so I just had to do a little bit of repair work on the uh, the netting I was putting on because it was a bit ripped in places but um, that should hold hopefully and then the peas can come up and um, and the reason I swapped it was I was a bit worried that the perspex was giving a microclimate for the peas so the peas would germinate really quickly but then when I took the perspex away they'd be exposed to the cold so I would rather them uh, sort of grow naturally as it was without having any covering on them until they get tall enough that um, the wind will knock them around and then I'll, um, I'll think of something else then. You might just put some fleece over the, um, the net in that's there. So let's go and see what else I've got to do. My next job is to cover over this bed. I um, I don't know if you can see but there's a couple of rucks in the soil because my cats are essentially using this as a toilet so I need to cover it over for the winter so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down some compost and then cover it with some cardboard I want to show you the compost because I've got two kinds here I've got my hot bin composter over here which um, there isn't an awful lot in there but it will do us like a, a ground cover on top of the bed that's there and then I'll put a couple more uh, barrelfuls of this compost which was from my compost heap that you might have seen in a previous vlog and I also want to put that compost onto this flower bed here which um, has kind of had its day now which I planted the bulbs I mentioned earlier along here yesterday there's some daffodils and irises and tulips and what have you and there's the dahlias some of them are still performing so I'm going to leave the dahlias in as long as possible just to ha have some greenery in this bed and um, uh, and I'll just top dress this bed with the compost. So I'll get on with doing that now while the uh, raindrops have stopped and I'll show you what it's looking like when I'm done. I know I said I was going to show you when it's done but I wanted to show you what the compost looked like coming out of the hot bin um, which to me is not what I envisage uh, the compost looking like from this hot bin composter it's I, I'm not having very good luck with my hot bin composter um, but 
I wanted to get this out so I could start it up again because my other compost heap is already very full and I emptied that about a month ago and all the sort of green bits of bobs from around the garden need to go in like the dahlia cuttings and beans that are now being ripped up and old tomato plants that are going so that's one of the reasons why I've emptied the hopping composter now but this will be okay as a thin layer underneath the uh, the better compost over there hopefully the worms will get to this and decompose it over the winter here is both sets of compost laid down now and I'm just gonna lay the cardboard on top so I'm almost there with this job and here's the bed all tucked up for winter now I need to do the same with this bed but I need to take out the beans and uh, the bellotti beans are still quite green at the back there so I'm leaving them just a little bit longer and uh, it's looking like there's a few bellottis on there now and then the cabbages and broccolis and swede and everything I will just cover this bed as and when it needs covering it's now raining it's drizzling rather heavy so I'm gonna come in the greenhouse and I'm gonna tidy up tidy away some of the plants that are in here I've still got some of these keep gooseberries there's one that's ripe there and then there's these that are not ripe so I can't cut back these plants just yet because I'm gonna wait until they've uh, they've finished growing so that might be another month or so but what I'm gonna do is uh, take off take down the um, tomatoes and the peppers because they've not um, they're just not going to ripen now so I might as well uh, move away all of this and then I can put the um, the slats back on here and I can bring stuff in from outside that needs to go but if I just show you they do look okay but they're quite black and uh, they're not really going to come to much anymore. So I'm going to be coming in and out of this greenhouse. So I haven't got any room, I'm afraid, to set up a tripod. So you will just have to have instant transformation. Uh, so I'll, um, I'll bring you back when it's all done. It's had a smallish tidy up. I've, uh, I've put another bit of twine in here so that that holds that back a bit so I have got some walking space now and I've put the um, the slats back in place like I said and here I've got some uh, Aztec sweet herb cuttings which um, I, I, I've been sorting out my pots from outside so I shall take these in the house and I can use them in tea to sweeten tea or sort of in crumbles instead of sugar. I'm not sure how much I need <clears throat> as I never got around to experimenting with it this uh, this summer. But um, I'll I'll do it when I have my next cup of tea now. <clears throat> so that's the Aztec sweet herb sorted out. I've got a place for my basket now, and um, that needs tidying up over there. Here's the harvest from the peppers that were you know below the um the framework and now it's it's just bare at the moment and my idea is i've got some cabbages and lettuce to go in here to grow over the winter and i think i said earlier i'm not sure but this uh framework will then go where these plants are when those plants are finished with so uh, yes I ended up with a couple of red peppers and uh, here is the fruit 
that I harvested but there is plenty more fruit on the um, Cape gooseberries so there's a bit more to come yet so that the, the plants won't be coming out any time soon I sorted out my pelagoniums I only had two anyway but I've uh, I've put them into their pots for overwintering and here is the Aztec sweet herb I was talking about which does trail over the sides of the pot and then you get these lovely stems coming off and uh, you harvest the leaves and the flowers for sweetening your desserts or tea or uh, whatever you want to sweeten really so I've never grown these before this was the first year I bought them and I got three of them this one here because I'm not really sure how I meant to prune them for overwintering I've pruned back really hard and I was toying with taking this one out as well but I thought no I better leave that in in case it does happen to grow off the new shoots grow off old wood so I thought I better leave that one in but there is a new shoot coming through there so we'll see how that one grows and then I sort of done a half prune on this one and uh, because it had this sort of fresh growth on it I thought I would leave it and see if it still grows indoors over the winter and there's some coming off over over there and then the final one at the back I didn't do any pruning on at all the only thing I did do was cut off one of the branches that had rooted um, because they because they sprawl on the floor they layer themselves quite easily which was uh, a, a revelation when I brought them in because I've now got four uh, rooted uh, sweet Aztec herb plants in this one and four in that one so I'll see how they grow over the winter and maybe we'll have some more plants come next spring so that will be exciting to see how it how that goes and also I thought well I better take some cuttings just in case I've done the wrong thing with these so that that, that will be interesting to see there um, and then finally I brought in my sweet peppers from outside which um, these are ready for harvesting as well so uh, they'll be the next job on the list to harvest some of them are not looking great like this one I can do with cutting off a few of the less desirable looking ones but I need to tidy up these as well and I'm not gonna I wasn't planning on overwintering any but this one is looking so strong that I might overwinter that and uh, see how that gets on and then down here are some herbs I got some dill and some chives and um, they are ready to go in the house when I finish with the ones that are on the windowsill that are almost done with now well that's it from me for today I'm really pleased to have got the greenhouse sorted out because it, it really needed doing uh, so that I could move the uh, outdoor plants indoors that that need to be indoors over the winter because uh, some of them are not very hardy and we are getting some cold weather now so I, I didn't want them to be destroyed so I, I'm very pleased to have got that job done uh, the greenhouse really needs a humongous clean there's like I'm looking around now and you can hardly see through the windows there's so much sort of green on them algae uh, but I'll do that when I do the, the, the massive shuffle around in here um, with the uh, with the shelf when I swap them, swap it over. So all I can say about my work today is lovely job. Thank you for watching, liking and subscribing if you have done so. Thank you for commenting if you have done so. I really do appreciate it. Take care and have a good day.